Hey guys, Ryzen here. And Blitz. And welcome to the predictions for um, the divisional round. I actually got four for six right last week, so that's not bad. Um, Titans let me down. I got the Rams right though, and we both got the Browns right, so that was good. I don't know why we picked the Bears, that was dumb. <laughs> I just really don't like the Saints. Um, well, whatever. Start going on the list here. We got the, the Rams at the Packers. You can go first, I guess, this week. I'm going to pick the Packers. Yeah, I'm picking the Packers too. I think it's too much for the Rams to overcome. Uh, even though I, I like their coaching staff better, but the Packers are too stacked. So you get the Ravens at the Bills. I'm picking the Bills on that one too. Yep. There's no, there's no question. I'm picking the Bills too. The Bills, are, I think, are the best team in the NFL by a pretty significant margin. I mean, the Chiefs, I think, are the only one remotely close. Uh, we'll leave the most interesting game for last, I guess. Go to the Bucks at the Saints. I mean, is this really a decision? Yeah, it is. I mean, the Saints, I, I, the Saints are favored. I'm going to pick the Buccaneers because I trust Tom Brady in the playoffs. Yeah, I'm picking the Bucks too because I'm picking the Bucks because the Saints swept them in the se regular season and it is really hard to beat the same team three times in one season. It's like impossible. Almost in, it barely ever happens. So on that alone, I'm picking the Bucks. But I, I don't like either team, to be honest. Um, they're both inconsistent. The Bucks really confuse me. And with all that talent, why they're so inconsistent, I don't know. But I'm I'm taking them to edge out the Saints. I think because their defense isn't amazing. Their defense is inconsistent. I, I, to be fair to them last week, I think what it is is I think they practiced for um, Alex Smith and not uh, whatever the guy's name was. I don't even remember. Uh, Hank Hanky or something? Heineke, who <laughs> was like a backup XFL quarterback. I mean, he's not a very good quarterback. He's been in the league for a while. And he's, he's, he's a career backup. Basically, he he's floated around for a while. But, <laughs> he's a mobile quarterback, so when you don't practice for a mobile quarterback, you practice for a stationary, you know, rock, which is what Alex Smith is. Basically now, yeah. You know. Your game plan's very different. Your game plan. They, they screwed up with their game plan, I think. But still, it's still inexcusable to let Heineke play that well against them. Yep. But whatever. I, I You know, Breeze is a statue, so that probably fare better. Brady's a statue. Yes, but Brady has the best footwork in the pocket. True. Despite being immobile. True. Brady compensates for that. Um, that's why he struggles only when you get pressure in the four, with up the front four, and they collapse the pocket. That's Otherwise, he just sidesteps. And the Bucks' offense is so immensely, ridiculously stacked. So. I... But they still underperform. That's weird. Browns at the Chiefs. That's, I think, the hardest game to pick. I mean, so the Chiefs were the Super Bowl champs last year. The Browns are huge underdogs, but I, I honestly don't understand why. The Chiefs have been not playing their best. Yeah, the Chiefs have been trending and, down. The Browns have trended up. They won the last six of their eight regular season games, and the two games that the Browns lost, one was the Ravens shootout that they just came up short in, and the other was the Jets game that, that you shouldn't count because right. they had no players. They had COVID. Right. I mean, they just kicked the Steelers' ass with, like, their team infected with COVID. Right. They had no coach. And they're supposed to get back some players this week. So, so. you know. I think it's going to be... The Chiefs, are, I, I'd be surprised if the Chiefs cover. I would not be surprised if the Chiefs win. I'd be surprised if they cover the spread. It's a 10-point spread. Which is ridiculous. It's crazy. The Browns are a lot better than people... I mean, that's giving them the same spread the Bears had against, you know, the Saints had over the Bears. and. The Browns ain't the Bears. Come on. Come on now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know what Vegas is that thinking. It's ridiculous. Um, Who will win is like a very interesting question. Can you make your pick? Um, as much as I want the Browns to win, I'm going to pick the Chiefs. <laughs> I'm taking the Browns. I just... I'm taking the upset. All right. Uh, the Browns have trended up. The Chiefs have trended down. I know they're fourteen and two, but they were winning some of those late games in spite of themselves. I mean, their red zone defense is terrible, and their offense has been inconsistent towards the end of the year. But and the Browns have trended up, so they have all the momentum right now. Um, but 
I don't know. I, the Chiefs could win easily. I could be wrong. The Chiefs are coming off the bye. The Browns don't they have are. the rest. The Chiefs have the experience. The Browns don't. So right. there's a dime a dozen ways that that game could wind up going. It could be a total shootout, and it could be 50 points on each side. I mean, experience matters. Just ask Josh Allen how he almost cost the Bills the team the game against the Colts. My God, they almost lost. And it he, had, he choked at the oh, end of that he, game. He was, he, I mean, he had a great game, but he did something incredibly stupid at the end of that game. Yeah. I mean, running backwards 20 yards when you're trying to run the clock out and taking a sack and then fumbling. I mean, dude, what are you doing? Not good. Inexperience. Just not knowing the situation. That's what I fear well, for Baker Mayfield. That's true. That is the concern. But the Steelers have been giving the Browns a lot of motivation, which I'm sure the Chiefs are very happy about. Yeah, there's that too. Because, you know, Claypool won't shut his mouth. Neither will Juju Smith. By the way, how do, how dancing on all those logos go? Yeah, how's that feel, guys? <laughs> Did it get you anywhere? Nope. No. Uh, the Steelers got a clean house. They got to get rid of these guys that, that keep giving locker room motivation to... I mean, they, they really do. That's a clean house. Yeah. It's just... They keep looking past opponents, and I don't know why they, they continue to do it every year. They were clearly looking looking ahead to the Chiefs. Oh, clearly. Or the Bills, actually. Or somebody the Bills else. Were, because if they won, they were going to play the Bills because the highest seed. But so if the if the Chiefs lost that game and the Bills won, would the championship game be in Buffalo? Yes, <laughs> Buffalo is the higher seed. It's just crazy. It's been like what twenty years since that's ha anything like that's happened. Well, no, I think the the what was it the there was the the number two seed had held the home game was it Falcons? I guess when they when we beat them in the Super Bowl, they think they were the two seed, and they had the they had the home game in the NFC Championship game. I'm, I could be misremembering, but typically the top two seeds are the ones that make it to the Super Bowl, like one or two from the conference occasionally. Very rarely you get a wildcard team, but the, the Browns are on fire, so I don't know. We will see what happens. And I had to pick something different from you, and that was the game I was leaning towards. I'm not betting against Brady. I'm not betting against the Bills. No. I guess I could have taken the Rams, but I don't I don't think they're going to beat the Packers. The Packers and, are the best team in the NFC by a significant by, margin. Yeah, there's no question. And Rodgers and his playoff experience. I mean, to be fair, Goff's got playoff Goff's got experience, too. He did go to the Super Bowl Goff's, He's somehow. also banged up. Yeah. I mean, Their emergency quarterback is Blake Bortles. Yeah. Because, you know, the other guy got killed in the last game. Yeah, I can't believe they didn't they didn't eject that guy. They didn't find the that guy a, or anything. That was a terrible There's hit. been, like, no, terrible like hit. no fines, no anything for that hit. He dove at him and when he was on the ground. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's unintentional, but, I mean, Jesus, man. You shouldn't be diving at people that are on the ground. Yep. But whatever. So we'll see what happens. Should be a very interesting weekend of football. Yep. To say the least. Yep. So we'll see you for uh, predictions next week for the, the conference championships. And then we'll do a Super Bowl prediction, of course. This is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. Take care.